Are you tired of dying in chemistry class and receiving Fs? If yes, then this video is for you. Observe what happens to the student because he is not wearing safety goggles. Observe the same situation but with safety goggles on. No, wait! I have my safety goggles on. Safety goggles help protect the eyes from chemical splashes. Observe as these two students nearly died because they did not follow safety rules. Hey dude, I heard that you mixed sodium dihydrate with hydrochloric acid and smell the food and you can get high. Really? Let's do it! Yeah. There, now that's done. Should we smell it or waft it? I heard it works only if you smell it directly. Let's smell it directly. As you can see, not following the rules led to severe consequences. Let's look more closely at the rules not being followed and how to follow them. Hey dude, I heard that if you mix sodium dihydrate with hydrochloric acid and smell the food, you can get high. No, we shouldn't mix chemicals in the laboratory when we don't know what will happen. Let's ask Mr. Jordan first. If you wish to see the results of the mixing of two chemicals, ask the teacher. Are we allowed to mix sodium dihydrate and hydrochloric acid? As long as you follow safety procedures. Now that's done, should we smell it using a direct or wafting method? We should use the wafting method. You should not smell any chemicals in the lab unless instructed to do so. Let's see the proper technique for wafting. These two, these two students have followed all safety rules and are alive and healthy. Observe as the carelessness of these two students causes a massive explosion in the school. Oh, I still have time to look on the table. You know what, just pick the beaker up and we'll worry about it later. Okay. Here, help me light this. It's not lighting. Uh, do you have a lighter? Yes. Oh snap, it's on fire. Oh. Observe the correct procedure which ensures safety. Oh, dude, I just put this highly flammable liquid onto the table. You should clean that up before I lay my bird. Clean up any chemical spills immediately. Okay, now I'm going to light my burner. Do you have a lighter on you? Do not carry lighters with you in the school, especially to the chemistry laboratory. No, I don't have a lighter on me. You should light the burner with your burn striker. But first, I'm going to move this explosive liquid out of the way. Keep all combustible materials away from open flames. These students have now followed all the safety rules and are alive and safe, at least until they break more rules. Observe as this student's failure to adhere to the rules cost him his life. I am about to heat this closed flask, which is a closed system on this burner. Okay, The following student will adhere to the rules and will not heat a closed system. Oh, wait a minute. There's a stopper in this flask. I gotta remove it so I don't blow my face off. Observe as this student incorrectly heats a test tube. Oh. 
Observe as this student correctly heats a test tube. I'm about to add water to acid. That is not good. I'm about to add acid to water. The reaction completed safely and I was not harmed. 